The pursuit of wealth leads lots of people to hell, but especially priests to hell. And people say, well, can't you just get over it? Can't you just forget about these priests and just go to Holy Communion and forget about it? But we really can't when we want to get on the cross. And a lot of priests want us to jump off the cross. I know even my uncle instantly when he was stealing Asher from me, he told me, oh, just get over it. And I thought to myself, well, in terms of Catholicism, we can't get off the cross. I can't just ignore the Ten Commandments because I make more money or have more um, sexual relationships if I ignore the Ten Commandments and get off the cross and just get over it. Like my uncle said, it's not prudent to ignore my son Asher just because it's more convenient for uh, my uncle that I just disappear like my mother wants me to do so bad. She can't stop talking about me just disappearing and I almost think she's trying to you know literally kill me which I do believe she is because when you push somebody down, steal from them, and then tell them they that they want you they want you to disappear, it's basically a complete murder. And you can murder someone without actually killing them. And this has been in the lives of the saints for many years. You can kill them by persecuting them to the point that they die naturally. And that has happened so many times. I think it did happen with Mary Popkeys, whose name became Mary Lewis Rott after Steve divorced her and ran off with my mother. She basically bought him off sexually and uh, and monetarily. And he, he's been he's self -si a self-silenced man. <laughs> He basically covers his tracks, and Father Meeson jumps right along with him because birds of a feather flock together, you know. So does Deacon Espinosa. And I was told once, you never want to go into the hierarchy of, of the church because it's just so corrupted. But even the very tiny little bottom of the church is corrupted from the bottom to the top. So we really can't, as one priest said, we're breathing in sin. The sin is so strong, we're like... We were breathing it in. I know when I tried to get to Mass, you know, just the amount of devils on the way, all these homeless people and the unclean conversations I hear, the smoke and the pot and the alcohol scents coming from these people. It's like from, you're, you're basically driving through the bottom of the very base of uh, hell <laughs> to get to Mass. And uh, we can't. We can't judge other people for staying home sometimes when they get exhausted. I know that in the Bayside Prophecies, Our Lady warns that if we stop fighting, we will be judged because to not choose is to choose. And also in Holy Love Messages, we read that not to, to not act is to make a choice. So we really have to be exceptionally strong in these end times and it's a strength that can't come from us it really comes from the holy eucharist and graces that we receive from god begging him to please clean our hearts up begging him for the gift of feeling to forgive our enemies in in, in a super human way that i know i can't but the grace of God allows us to give us so much charity in the Holy Eucharist that we think, wow, I really, I really love God and I don't need anything else. I really don't. I just love you, Jesus.